he doesn't think that way. He wants you to score like this. Um, did you just feel today like you had to score to take over at some point? Um, I just kind of took what the defense was giving me um, and what my teammates got me open. They passed me the ball really well. Um, and I just kind of read what the game needed. Um, and I, I mean, I felt <laughs> like my shot was going in. I felt good. Um, and it was just rhythm. So I think my teammates, obviously, they have a lot of confidence in me to make plays and just to make things happen. And so I just try to do that. Uh, well, I think transition was the main focus uh, going into this game. Um, that's our main focus every game is just to get up and down the floor. Um, so we tried to do that early on. We definitely came out um, really hot um, with a lot of energy, just really confident in what we was going to do from the beginning. Um, and then obviously, you know, as the game on, we're not going to keep them scoreless. So they're able to do different things and kind of just switch it up on us. Um, so, but we did definitely had a great start. Your three-point shooting has looked really good in the exhibition and obviously today. Um, is that something you're just feeling more confident with the ball or working on anything in particular that's really special? Yeah, throughout the whole summer, um, just the off season in general, just been uh, really just hard on myself, just being on, just being consistent. So I know as soon as the ball goes up, that just telling myself I know it's going to go in, but definitely put in the time. So um, there's no hesitation really for me. Um, no, it was great, especially um, like, you know, for the younger guys to kind of just see and watch before they had came in. I know there's a lot of <clears throat> first game jitters for them, uh, for one, just not playing for the first college game at XO, for one, uh, playing in front of crowds for a lot of the other younger guys as well. Um, but I think this, the what the momentum that we had, especially at the beginning of the game, is what we needed and what we, what we needed to carry on for when, you know, people are subbing in and out and things like that. But um it was it was great, you know. We have been working on that in practice, um, and it showed at different times throughout the game. Hey, when you get on a roll shooting like that so efficiently, like you did today, how does it help facilitate like other areas of the offense? It seemed like you'd make two or three in the lane, and then just when it looked like you do that again, you kick it to one of these two, or AZ would be on the left for a three. It just seemed like it opened everything. Yeah, I mean, I always want to pass first, but ever since I got here, coaches always told me that I need to score first if I wanted to pass at all. So um, when I start knocking in shots and I'm being aggressive, um, looking for my own shots, that's when it leaves others open. Um, and that's what I try to do today. Um, and obviously, when you're knocking in shots from the outside, they're going to guard you tighter, and then you can get into the inside more and vice versa. So it's just all about reading what the defense gives you and sort of like looking for your shot and then leading to create for others. Coach has a lot of the defensive message, but do you, do you guys like playing games where it's high scoring like this, up and down, that kind of thing, with the uh, grind out defensive kind of thing? Um, do we like playing in games like but, this? Yeah, um, I'll be honest with you, we are not happy with our defensive play today. Um, and we have a lot of things we got to work on, and we got a lot of things we got to clean up. Um, so I'm going to say no. <laughs> um, there's no reason they should have scored that many points. I would have to agree. Um, but I think it's kind of cool in the essence of just kind of just playing where it's just like, you know, we're not blowing the team out by 50 points. So it's like, you know, we still have something to play for towards the end of the game. Um, but definitely our, yeah, our defense was just not where it needed to be. But I think um, it was a good wake-up call for now, but we need to, you know, get better and do better in practice. What are you taking away from the defensive side of things? What you guys learned from this and where the, the biggest issues were for you guys? Uh, I thought we fouled a lot. Uh, we just have to learn to keep people in front of us and keep our hands off. Um, and I think that's going to be a big emphasis moving forward. Um, but if we can do that, we're going to be fine. Uh, we just got to clean that up. I also think our ball screen defense um, in the reads and how we cover those, I think are huge and we need to work on those. Um, and then like C said, just fouling, keeping guys in front of us. 
Kristen, from your lens, um, I know that I'm sure your friends were talking last year after you lost. Getting this win today, <laughs> getting that revenge, how does that feel? And from your family? feels amazing. <laughs> Let me tell you. <laughs> feels great. Um, you know, I, I was telling you earlier, I got a lot of DMs. We should have gone to Arkansas. It was UConn and we beat y'all. So it feels really good to, to beat them this year and get payback. So I'm happy about that. As teammates, I think we definitely take pride in that um, as well. Kind of just knowing that, having the back in their mind, like, especially that we lost last year. But for anyone, like when we go to, we play Georgia Tech this year, mm -hmm. like we know, like, okay, we have, we have something else to play for. Like, we got to play for live that game. We go to Oregon, like, they know, like, okay, I already know my, how they're going to feel about when we go to Oregon. And so yeah. um, we definitely have a different type of edge. Um, so, you know, we, we've all been in that same type of boat. But definitely if there's some something else to play for when it's like this. Same when we went to Tennessee last year. Yeah. Oh, forgot. <laughs> <laughs> Kristen, Dave, do you have a favorite place to score from on the floor? I mean, scoring is scoring, but it seems like you're able to score anywhere you want. If you, if you had that little post up on a late in the game, that if they were calling again, but then to switch it out with this person, that's the thing goes on. Do you feel comfortable anywhere on the floor? Uh, yeah, I'm pretty confident in my work ethic and the work that I put in in the off season and in practice. Um, that when I get a shot, I think it's going to go in. Um, when I get a clean look, my favorite time to score is when it goes in. So I don't know. Medina, <laughs> <laughs> you were honored with uh, pursuing your balance of playing in college. I would almost argue it's a tribute to your strong start today. But just how did you feel to be honored and then to get off of that strong start? No, yeah, um, it was definitely cool. I think it's a big achievement um, for not only myself, but for anyone who has done it or, you know, getting to that point. Um, so it's cool, um, but definitely looking for, for bigger things. So just the kind of time, type of game I had today, just being consistent, going off of that. Um, but no, I, I do, I think it was cool. I had no idea that that was going to happen really before. For real? You no. Know. Oh, I didn't know you were surprised. Yeah, Me and Aubrey saw it on the schedule. We didn't tell you because we didn't know if you <laughs> no, I, I, didn't, I, didn't, I didn't really know. So um, they kind of whispered in my ear like right before we had went out to warm up. Oh. I was like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> so. yeah, yeah, so, um, you, you said uh, like it was up to you guys to kind of get off to a hot start. So maybe some of the, you know, there's so many new pieces to the team, but they haven't done this before. And like, I guess it's like easy to forget that. <clears throat> like you're waiting to see what they do. But like Coach said, um, uh, Paige is pretty good in case anyone forgot, you know. Is it is it like up to you to kind of set that tone and like that's what happened today. You guys were out there the whole, you know, the whole time Paige played 40 minutes. You guys were in the 30s, high 30s. Mm -hmm. Is that, um, you know, it's, it's up to you guys to kind of like at least set the tone for, for the other kids to, to get used to this whole atmosphere? Yeah, of course. It's it's definitely our job um, to set the tone because we've been here before. Um, we have more experience than they do. Um, and so they're just going to follow in our lead and our footsteps. So, yes, yeah, it's, it's our job to set the tone every game. And I think we also understand, like, we've been freshmen. We've been in this position, you know, playing in a new arena. Your family's here. You're thinking about the plays. You're thinking about not messing <laughs> up. You're thinking about messing up. You're thinking about what coach is going to say if you mess up. It's like, not. Nah, we understand, like, there's a million things going through their minds. Um, so just, you know, just helping along with that, you know, just sound like, you know, it's okay <clears> when they, but just also, like, hey, just go out there and play like you've been playing in practice. Mm -hmm. Kristen, you got to bark back on that position last year? Do I have a what? You got to bark back on that position last year, though. No, they they saw the game today. It's <laughs> not worth her energy. It's no. not worth her energy. <laughs> oh, that's yeah, that's my bark back. <laughs> <laughs> um, it was amazing. I mean, it was just my first um, game with fans in general, so I enjoyed it a lot. I obviously missed it last year. The whole fan aspect and the energy that they bring and intensity that they bring. Um, and you could hear it today when Arkansas went on runs, they sort of got loud and sort of hyped us up. Um, and it's, it's a lot more fun with fans.